Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you my current everyday makeup routine. So it's been a while since I shared any beauty reviews. So I was thinking because most of the products I will um, use in this video are also new or like I've never shared them. Most of, I think some of them before. So it's also a bit like my review of this uh, current products that I've been using and I've been loving. So normally this is like, um, this is how I look every day at work because I don't have time to put a lot of makeup on. Unlike before where I used to work because I worked like later in the afternoon, but now I work at 10. Normally other people, even my friend, like uh, she wakes up really early just to have, you know, all her hair done and things like that. But um even if it's like 10 it's a bit late of course for some people i feel like I, it's still early for me to you know to do to just wake up like 6 6 30 just to look really put together so this is i think uh the look that i feel like as i as the months went by or i'm always almost two years working there i feel like this still it's simple it's quick but i feel like it's still i still look like hopefully doesn't look tired or not too um haggard looking at work but uh the i i, I never thought that i would go to work and look like this without mascara without you know like bronzing or um what is the, what you call that um like j uh, just no uh no um blush or like contouring and things like because i did love that look before when i had time but now i try as quick as possible because i don't want to wake up early just to you know put the makeup on my face so first of all normally i start with my sunscreen so the sunscreen i've been loving and using is from super goop unseen sunscreen so it's uvb high protection spf 30 so this still a bit works for me now because i i bought it when it was i think start uh february or march i'm not sure anymore and now i still i'm still using it so when it really starts getting really warm here i will look for something that spf 50 but i think they have a spf 50 with this so i've been seeing this already uh, years ago with a lot of beauty um bloggers vloggers especially the american, american ones but uh it was not that easy to order this um before here in europe because it was only available I think in America in America but um, I saw it was in Revolve normally I get my like Tower 28 there before when I used to review a lot of makeup but I saw they have in Cult Beauty so Cult Beauty is a British online a beauty shop and they also now carry Tower 28 but I'm not into cream products because i'm too lazy i have i had so many cream products that i did not really use that much so i try to avoid products especially now i'm not that into makeup anymore to use a lot or buy a lot of cream products or products that i know myself i will not use a lot so i like this because the formula is almost like silky like velvet feeling on my face so and uh, i think unlike the the other sunscreen that i used to use like the especially the french pharmacy brands i feel like there's like a white cast sometimes like when you apply it it's really like yeah i feel like there's before it completely dries down it makes my face like look a bit like there's like white patches in some areas and yeah it's a bit lighter you know when you use your sunscreen for your body it felt like that like it felt like sticky and had like white spots in some areas and it just didn't feel good although i found something that it was okay it was a bit that kind of texture but it was better than the other ones i've tried before so it says it's the it's non-greasy feel and no tell tell no tell tail white film which i do agree this universally flattering sunscreen is perfect for everyday every complexion providing unparalleled uv deflection while being coral reef friendly and without suffocating your skin or exacerbating congestions velvety textured and great for prolonging the wear of your makeup this broad 
spectrum shield boosts the cleanest ingredients you won't find any alcohol which for me as a dry skin person it's really good no parabens also and or artificial fragrance it's also cruelty free yeah i don't smell anything with this which is good sweat and water resistant up to 40 minutes it's quicker to list what this shine minimizing creation can't do so it's like that i i really love it. i think yeah it really will fit with other skin I, I can imagine with like darker skin tones with you know the other sunscreen that would leave a white cast it would really look weird on you but this i think that's why i also choose this because i know that it will not have that and i just realized that, that it's also clean beauty which is amazing it's really like almost like matte feeling and unlike some sunscreen, sunscreens a bit like shiny and like sticky this i don't really feel like it dries really quickly which i love as well so i highly recommend this i think they also have a version of this that has like um it will give i think glow like glow version i might try that but first i will look something that will have spf 50 <laughs> before i will try it and we shall see how that goes but so far i've been loving this and i have this for already maybe more than two months and it's the, i think it will still last me for a month and i do i'm not i think i saw some reviews that you need to have like a teaspoon i don't put like that much and i'm also not that much outside like under the sun so i think i don't need it and i don't really apply it uh any sunscreen only when it's too warm maybe like the june july august uh, months i have a spray for that that i might share for you soon like my summer essentials maybe i might get or make that video so please watch out for it so yeah that's about the sunscreen so i thought this video will not be too long but yeah for the sunscreen it already <laughs> it took already a lot of time so, so the next one i apply is a primer and also like um the glowy base so this is from Sa'i 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce it so it's the super I uh, know it's the glowy super gel star in the shade star glow I think they have two shades of this one is this like the lighter version and the other one is like for darker skin tone so this I also discovered this because of like beauty vloggers and I was really curious about this and I think it was not available in Europe uh, for a long time and then it I saw they also have it in cult beauty so I ordered them together with the super group and I'm really happy with this this is it comes in a really like um, sturdy glass uh, packaging and you will get a lot I uh, here it says 30 ml and I think this will last me for maybe oh it's getting a bit you know i see because i use this every day i think maybe two months more i'm not sure how this will long will last long but i will surely um buy this again i was debating to get the the charlotte tilbury version of something like this but i saw a lot of reviews comparing this two and they said that is a bit uh, meta uh, like has, it has like a um, almost metallic kind of finish which i don't like to look like you know like kind of effect but i don't like that so i decided i saw a review i really love the how this looks on the person who i saw reviewing it so i i went for this and it's also cheaper than the charlotte tilbury one and i'm really happy with this so this also it's almost like um a serum kind of a bit thicker kind of serum and also not stick at all it's almost like dry dries down instantly as well which i like i feel like because of this um even if i just use like the powders i will use later on i feel like my face looks a bit um more alive more glowy because of this and it helps i didn't mix it yet with any foundation because i'm not wearing any liquid foundation at the moment for almost two years now i think every now and then but maybe maybe twice a year something like that something like that but i think all my foundations are expired so i don't use anything anymore i might try their from the, uh, like i think they have tinted moisturizer from this brand and there's also a new foundation but i saw a lot of bad reviews about it that it um emphasizes emphasizes dry patches which i always have especially during winter time maybe the summertime my my face tends to get a bit oily and not that dry anymore during winter uh, during summertime so i might get that foundation of it but of this brand but uh, i also want to try i'm curious of the 
tinted moisturizer because that has better reviews than the current uh, the new release foundation so that's about this i don't oh there's a bit like powdery scent this is also a clean beauty which i really love i try to uh, apply more clean beauty stuff on my face because I, it's better for your um, face actually and your skin so i will try to tell you the description formulated with 75 percent water the cru cruelty free glowy super gel melts into skin and diffuses with ease for a luminous luster that looks like your face made it simply blend with a brush or your fingers to dial up the dew when you're craving some radiance loaded with 10 precious extract including papaya and vitamin c to protect and revitalize skin as it brightens this, this comes in a choice of two flattering hues star glow the dreamiest champagne gold gleam and the sun glow sunshine in a bottle so it's more like almost like bronzy kind of color beautiful under your makeup for skin that looks lit from within which i really agree you can cocktail this feather of light highlight and make up your day cream or wear it on the top foundation for maximum impact it feels like nothing that everything you do oh i didn't try that as a highlight i might try it now so i haven't tried this as a highlight because mostly i have powders on top but i might try it now so maybe not that much normally i highlight my nose area let's see how it will look my nose looks a bit also like there's like a light bouncing with this because of the windows outside let's see if it will I might it like this. Oh, it a bit disrupts the powder because what do you think? I normally in the side parts of my face I don't Okay, maybe like this. Not too much. I will tap the rest on my Okay. I haven't tried I don't know if it really makes difference oh why i never tried this before what do you think oh yeah it's this is too much here and here is like there's like a bit and what i love about this is that there's no chunks or anything like that it's like almost like lit from within that's why i love this product so much Mm-hmm. Mm. I might try to do it from what you think. Yes. Not that um probably if it's mixed with like, you know, cream products it will look better. But I feel like yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of <laughs> reflection I think bouncing. So it's not that prominent, so yeah, I like it because this is still like it's um very it's very natural looking so you can also do that on top of powder. I don't think there's a lot of products gone or like lifted, so yeah. I think even like you know on top of your especially I don't wear eye makeup. I think I could do that as well. Let's see. But yeah, maybe it will crease. Because I did do that before with my cream product and I didn't like the creasing. But here like the extra product I did and it's still like, it's like a, a bit shimmery. Just a little bit. So, Or maybe you can also like... Because if I feel like if I set it then the, the glow will be gone. But if you're oily I think um, maybe you should not do this. But uh, with my dry skin, I think it will, will, it looks good. Yeah, I do love this product so much and I highly recommend it. So, and then I then set it. I try to wait a bit when it's my face really dry down. And uh, meanwhile, wait, uh, while waiting, I try, if I remember, if I feel like my lips are getting dry or like flaky, I try to get a uh, like apply a lip balm so I'm using uh, the Blistex Lip Infusions Restore and this I've been seeing a lot of vloggers also uh, wearing Blistex but the blue version or the yellow version 
but I wanted to try something. I also bought the blue version, I think, and the yellow, but I don't know where they, I put them. But for this, I feel like this is more um, nourishing. And um, yeah, it's, it's a bit, not that matte. There's still a bit shine almost. It's a bit slippy compared to the one I used to use. I forgot the French Pharmacy brand. That I think is really matte. That's what I prefer as lip balm, but this, a bit shiny but I don't really mind because uh, what I apply as a lip product is a uh, gloss anyway so it's still okay but with lipstick I think I did combine this with a matte lipstick it was okay it didn't like um, disrupt or change the effect of the matte lipstick so it's just a good base for lipstick as well and then I applied my trusted my trusted powder so this is the makeup product that I'm surprised I'm able to finish I'm patiently waiting that I will finish everything because I rarely have products I would finish especially makeup products powder products especially that I can finish till the end I already have a backup of this I bought last year ago so probably it was too advanced to get it because I thought that it will be gone uh, within like a month after or two months after buying it. But now, as you see, it's still going strong. I think I, I till July, I can still use this, and um, you know, uh, and I can finish this till the end. So this is the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in NC25. So this is really great, great for coverage, especially my redness. I try to apply um more layers where i need the uh, the coverage most especially like my cheek area my chin area my under eye area so i try to first use a big brush so this is the zoeva zoeva 111 petty face finish uh this was a limited edition so i'm not sure if they're still selling it my brush does not look good anymore oh my god what is this Hmm, like the glue is like, oh, it's like coming out already. I I hope it's still good. Hmm. Oi, yes, the paint is coming off. So probably I need a new brush. It does not look good anymore. So, but yeah, this was really good. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna change something else because this does not look good anymore. I didn't even notice this. Only now. And I smell the paint already. So no, I'm not using it, but this was a great for like overall foundation brush. And then I tried to, when I layer, especially the under eyes, I tried this trusty MAC 128S. Uh, I think this is dual fiber brush split fiber cheek brush so i saw when a friend was looking for a um, foundation in mac the uh, makeup artist there was using this and i was really curious about this because i'm yeah for like uh, foundation or like bl because that time i was also using f looking for a new blush brush but this is too tiny for my cheeks so i use it to set the powders i mainly use this this is more like if i use a uh, blush but i have another blush brush that's why i don't use that much so this this side is much softer that's why i use this for my setting my powders and then after i use the mac um, foundation i use the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish in the shade two medium so first i also just tap uh, like uh, apply for my under eye and then the rest of like where i use to layer the MAC, MAC blush and then and then use again the big brush for like uh, setting all over my face so this also is almost done and I haven't reviewed it yet so this will be my mini review about this so this is really perfect for um, I, fix, I feel like setting your foundation I've mainly used this for the powder foundation I, th I'm, I think I also use it with like liquid foundation but not that much because my I bought this last June when I went to London and I think from then on I never or I rarely use a liquid foundation but I think with liquid foundation it also um, works well this I feel like it's re lesser product than the MAC one uh, I hit the pan already after two months I think that was 
really quick from all the powder products I, I have but this is really like you you know it I have never seen like it looks cakey or it looks so heavy looking on my face or it's really light and um, how you call it translucent so I really love this and it's really um, yeah it's really a great uh, setting powder I, I I'm not sure with the coverage if I use this alone I don't think it will cover good as much as the MAC foundation here like I there's redness but without the mug it's more prominent so that's why i love this like to cover my pimples to cover the redness this is really great not totally covering covering it but if you use like um, a bit um if i use like a foundation that has more coverage plus this it really works well so i highly recommend and this also i would definitely repurchase it and want to try more like the face products the highlighter and probably uh, the foundation of Charlotte Tilbury because I did love this stuff so much so that's the um, airbrush uh, flawless uh, foundation and then I apply an eyebrow product so this is my holy grail this is the Charlotte uh, no no the Anastasia Beverly Hills deep brow gel in the shade ebony I used to use the medium brown but I noticed that it was too light brown for my uh for my brows because my brows are you know like dark like black so it, it looks a bit weird especially what well, I saw in the pictures and videos so this is closer to my hair color although it's almost like gray black like the, the like the Korean eyebrows I used to eyebrow products I used to buy so this I this I noticed when I first um got this i don't need any like pencil anymore this is enough coverage for me sometimes there's still like a sparse there's still areas that i need to fill it in like with a pencil but when i'm in a hurry i think i it, it this is more than enough for me so first i brush my brush my hair if i have time to like to brush it in place using a brush a eyebrow brush a pulley brush from i think uh, this is from essence and then i apply this and i'm good to go so i try to first apply it in the uh low um outer part because that's where my i have a lot of sparse area and then i try to uh brush it in f uh from front to the middle so there's not so much projects anymore because this the first um inner half of my brows is really thick compared to like the inner and uh, the outer half so. and my my brow stays in place i don't think that i don't really see like it fades during the day so i really highly highly recommend this and i don't think i'm not sure if i will try something else because this really works so yes and to finish it i i n normally uh use this lip product so it's the dior lip glow oil in the shade rosewood so this because when i'm in a hurry i'm in a hurry i'm in a hurry i don't need a mirror i just apply it while waiting for the bus and yeah it just works i feel like my lips are really hydrated especially during winter time my lips are so dry this really helps like it does not it helps like to you know the dryness will be my dry lips will be nourished and moisturized so i highly recommend this i might try some other shade uh with this uh i think because i love this so much so if you have any clean beauty products that has something like this version like i can try please let me know because i'm more into lip oils now i thought i will never like you know like a glossy lips but because of the i don't have so much time putting makeup on i'm more into this kind of products now and yeah it's almost gone this is my second um bottle or like um second purchase of that because the other one i think it got expired because i did use it for a long time and then after discovering it again i continually use it that's why i think i will get another one soon depends which one i will discover or i might find something else but so far this is my most used lip product of the year so yeah that was my routine i didn't expect this video will be too long with uh, very few um, products uh shown but these are this is my normal everyday routine and really easy really quick and i feel like 
I, although I still look a bit tired, but not as tired without them, without this routine. So, uh, of course, if I had time, I will add more mascara, a bit of, I make a bit of blush. I might show you a bit of, of a clip how I, um, add or make it a bit better kind of makeup but uh, so far this is my everyday uh yeah everyday face or everyday makeup so i hope this was helpful for you if you have any questions please do let me know and i will try to get back to you as soon as i can if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me so yeah thank you for watching and i hope i see you in my next one bye